meteorologist Matt Miller. High temperatures today have been again in a little bit warmer 40s, pushing close to 50 degrees across the area, but the wind has really made it feel cooler throughout the day. It will be clear and chilly. We do lose the wind, at least in the majority of it, weakening down to a light and variable wind for tonight. And that'll be the case into the day tomorrow. Light southwesterly breeze, sunshine, really nice weather for the big travel day tomorrow. If you're traveling around the region, no issues weather wise at all, other than maybe having a squint just a little bit in that sunshine we will be cool and dry for Thanksgiving. And then we're looking at a system that still looks to bring a chance for some light snow late Saturday, uh, looking a little bit more, I don't say of a certainty, but a, more of a likelihood uh, that we'll have that coming in. Something we're, we're starting to see better signs of that. Clear sky right now at Lawrence, as well as in Emporia. Clear weather in Manhattan. Uh, very nice, comfortable evening. Once the wind relaxes a little bit more, it will get cooler, but it's a little bit on the chilly side right now, at least uh, dry compared to last night. That's an improvement. 47 degree temperature, northwest winds at 21 makes it feel like 39. So heavy jacket weather out there, uh, but not a terrible uh, evening as we're looking at mainly dry weather conditions. Came in just shy of the average at 49 for the high today so far. Started out at 42. We will set a new low. Uh, more than likely by 9, 10 o'clock we'll be down in the 30s and we'll just keep tumbling because the wind relaxing and the sky remaining clear will allow for temperatures to take a nice little tumble this evening. Already down to 41 at Marysville, 44 for Clay Center and Riley, 40 45 at Council Grove. It's 45 already at Forbes Field and that gusty northwest wind anywhere from about 15 to 25 miles per hour for most areas that should start to weaken as we head into the evening, falling back to about 10 miles per hour and then eventually light to nearly calm by morning as the wind swings around and becomes light southwesterly. 5 to 10 or 15 uh, for the daytime tomorrow. Not nearly as windy, should be much quieter and I think overall nicer day as we head into your Wednesday. How the clouds this morning? That's all since pushed away to the east. You can see that from uh, eastern Oklahoma, uh, western Arkansas, all the way up to Missouri. That system's moving away. This ridge of high pressure is building in for several days. This will allow for dry weather. We are going to be watching this system up over southwestern Canada. That's the one that has the impact potential for us as we head toward the weekend. It's a ways away, and so we're looking at pretty quiet weather for tonight through the daytime tomorrow. This is Wednesday afternoon, early evening. We're still in the clear. We're still in the clear overnight into Thursday morning. Now, Thanksgiving Day could start to see a little bit of cloud cover moving in toward the afternoon, but dry and even dry into Friday, although the cloud cover will certainly build in a lot more. Any chance for precipitation Friday is well out west. That may be a concern if you are traveling west Friday late. Now, we'll still be dry even into Saturday morning. That does not stay that way. Here comes this chance for light to maybe some moderate snow from Saturday early evening through the late evening hours and then out of here by Sunday morning. A little too early to see if we'll get any of that to stick and accumulate, but there's a chance for some small amounts of snow out of that and could cause some travel. You may want to push it to either Sunday or earlier on Saturday and avoid Saturday evening. Looking at a low temperature tonight of 26, high tomorrow 55 degrees. Looking ahead, for the week, we do have lighter breezes, uh, but mild temperatures through Thanksgiving Day starts to turn a little bit colder highs back into the upper 30s and low 40s and nighttime lows into the 20s. But you see that percentage keeps climbing as we get closer to Saturday, already looking at about a 60% chance for some uh, late afternoon, but more so evening and overnight light snow potential could cause some travel headaches, uh, mainly in that window of late Saturday. Yeah, we don't want that, but we do want the pretty and kind of the holiday feel of it all. And at least it's back out of here by the second biggest travel day, which yeah. would be the Sunday. So it should be out of here by then. Maybe it all works out just right. Yeah.